Green Tech Environmental Solutions is a private business enterprise which is determined to tackle the environmental and social challenges in the Gambia and beyond. Climate change is a global challenge, but countries in sub-Saharan Africa will suffer the consequences most, experiencing more floods and droughts which already claim loss of property and lives. The Gambia is land-wise the smallest country on the West African continent but also densely populated and among the poorest. But Gambia has opportunities in the battle against climate change, desertification and loss of biodiversity. The country still remains valuable forest cover, which can serve as carbon sink, soil protection and shelter for a variety of species. But the forest is decreasing and with it all its resources and services. The Gambian people deeply depend on their forests for their domestic needs. It provides them with food, construction material, natural remedies, and further for their livestock. With the growing population, the forest is being overexploited, especially through the need for firewood. As about 75% of the population is engaged in agriculture and the main crop are granots, there are more than 10,000 tons of granite shells dumped as waste yearly. If not used, they are eventually burned as land for dumping is scarce. Green Tech started in August 2011 to produce briquettes purely from granite shells as an alternative cooking and heating fuel to save the remaining forest resources for the future generations. At the same time, Green Tech started to research, design and promote fuel efficient stoves to reduce emissions, mitigating general air pollution, and global warming. Green Tech can currently press more than 800 kilos of granite shell briquettes per hour, respectively 16 tons per day. With the accommodation of another high quality press, the entire amount of granite shells from the major dumping site could be converted into briquettes, which would equal the latest statistic on charcoal consumption of the major urban area. Three types of stoves have been developed to serve different cooking purposes. All stoves are produced now by local weldermen from recycled material. The combination of briquettes in fuel-efficient stoves coupled with a 20-minute user training seems to be the winning combination, not only to tackle the environmental challenges, but also to improve livelihoods, especially for women. Users who spend 50 dalasi on charcoal when cooking on their traditional stoves now spend about 20 dalasi on briquettes in the fuel efficient stoves, saving them 10,000 dalasi a year. Additionally, using briquettes in fuel efficient stoves also saves the women time and effort as the briquettes are comfortable to store and handle, cook faster than charcoal in an open stove and smoke less during the cooking than firewood. And there is even a solution for the local tea called Ataya. Use briquettes, save our forest. Use briquettes, save our forest. Everyone should use briquettes. Briquettes are very, very important. They help us live and they save our forest. If you don't use briquettes and use firewood, our whole planet would be destroyed. So please use briquettes. No trees, no life. As far as the project of Green Tech is concerned, uh, the Ministry of Energy is definitely in support of it. Yeah, I, I really subscribe to this uh, new technique, new initiative by Green Tech, considering the fact that a lot of granite shell, you know, uh, been wasted. The produce he is using to take um, the place of uh, of firewood in the country is something which is abundant and is available everywhere. When I 
went uh, for the demonstrations, you know, I've realized that there are so many advantages in uh, using the stove. The, the project um, can be viewed as a, as a partner in agricultural development. Um, being a groundnut producing country, and seeing as we are looking to increase yields as well, uh, obviously the, the waste shells um, would be put to good use if Green Tech can absorb them. Forest is important for us. No trees, no life. No trees, no life. No trees, no life. About 80% of the household energy consumed comes from the forest resources. That's fuel, wood, and charcoal. Uh, the policy of the government is to promote all the alternatives. I had the opportunity to see the product working myself. And I was so inspired. I, I bought, I have to buy it. I'm encouraging every Gambian to use it. We have the material here. With, de with deforestation, which leads to soil erosion, obviously, um, hills would, would be almost zero in some places. So we do need the forest cover. Also, um, the forest has a direct link to rainfall. The biggest challenge is to encourage people to reduce dependence on fuel wood as source of fuel for domestic energy. When the wood is wet, it's so difficult to dry it. With the briquettes, you can keep them in a safer place without being exposed to water. Mama, no. No. Li, la. Li, briquette, you can see the quality of the wood. The quality of the wood is the same as the briquette. You can see that it's safe in the forest. If you have a dog, you can see that it's safe. If you have a dog, you can see that it's safe. Because if you have a dog, you can see that it's safe. If you have a dog, you can see that it's safe. Je pense qu'il faut faire ma temps, il faut faire des choses qui sont en train de faire. Je vais faire des choses parce que je ne vais pas faire des choses. Je ne vais pas faire des choses et je ne vais pas faire des choses. Je ne vais pas faire des choses, je ne vais pas faire des choses. Je ne vais pas faire des choses. C'est pourquoi la Green Tech Initiative réconcile avec la politique du gouvernement de trouver une alternative source of domestic energy for the Gambian population. You have uh, less risk in using it, you know, because for a firewood, you have to take a court last or things like that. And I've seen, and I have witnessed a friend of mine, while he was doing that, the wood just smashed his face. More peanuts are grown, green tech uses those, briquettes are made, less trees are chopped down for firewood and the cycle goes on and hopefully we get more trees you know, and it's a win-win situation. Briquettes in fuel efficient stoves is not only an economic and environmental friendly solution for single households but also for school canteens, industries and restaurants. Hello everybody, I'm talking here I'm from Gunmamba. We have been using this briquette since more than three months. There's no smoke and it's useful and it's easy to handle. It's very good and it's cheap. Try and see. I use control bula ale briquette to use. I bet you have a bag here. I'm going to put it on the table. I'm going to use briquette on the table. It's much more better. You can't do it on the table. I'm going to get up. Using briquettes helps our environment. Using briquettes helps our country. Join Green Tech to save our forest. Save our forest, save our future. Save our forest, save our future. Save our forest, save our future. And always remember, no trees, no life. Exploiting our forest today will take the future opportunities of the children away.